thanks to the ancestral dragon pendant, Wu Hian found managed to escape the cowardly attack of Sain Shu disciples. You guys back again with me, Min Aoi. It's time for Manwa become an immortal chapter 3. Seeing his disciples behavior, Luo Hianfan mocked Sain Shu as lazy for not teaching his disciples strictly. He then asked Sain Shu to discipline his disciple well. Sain Shu panicked and looked scared after what his disciple did. He asked Luo Hianfan to calm down. Sain Shu will punish the traitor severely and give Luo Hianfan an explanation. Luo Hianfan smooth disappears because of Sain Shu disciples' actions. Because fairy Chang Yun was the host of this banquet, Luo Hianfan left it entirely up to fairy Chang Yun about how compensations should be given by Sain Shu. Fairy Chang Yun vented her anger on Sain Shu because she took many years to prepare this banquet and invite Luo Hianfan. Shen Shu then apologizes for his mistake of not disciplining properly. He is willing to compensate Fairy Chang Yun. Compensations for all the losses that suffered by Fairy Chang Yun. Fairy Chang Yun then just expelled Shen Shu and his disciples and hope that she would never meet them again. Sain Shu was a little relieved and hoped that this loss could be a lesson for his disciple. However, instead of reflecting on his mistakes, his disciples called Sain Shu a coward. Jiang Chuan thought that Luo Hianfan was just a trash beside the background that he had. Giving up on a loser, Jiang Chuan thought that his master was worse than a loser.